Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today, I'm here to show you this brand spanking new house by Keepmoat Homes called The Dickens. That's it behind me. So where are we located right now? We are in North Fleet, which is in Kent, southeast of England by Dover. So this fantastic riverside development boasts just so many new built houses. And this is one of them, which we're going to tour today. So this property is a four bedroom, two bathroom property with one WC extra and the size of it is approximately 1326 square feet it's on sale for close to half a million pounds and there's a host of features which we're going to show you so follow me right so looking at the outside of the property we've got this kind of statement yellow slash buff brick colored brick throughout the whole development you've got the oak veneer effect to the front door very contemporary in the kind of ladder effect you've got a porch overhang a canopy which basically shields you from the rain harsh sunlight and then you've got these gray kind of modern windows and doors throughout the whole property which contrasts really nicely with the brick so let's go inside and i'll show you some more Now that we're in the hallway, let's look at what we're working with. In this show home, we've got fabulous porcelainosa tiles on the floor and that runs throughout the whole ground floor. We've got a radiator on this wall, staircase going to the first floor and a little nook in that corner for your thermostat, security system, a kind of coats on that wall. The front door, as you can see, is kind of painted white on the back. It's got this contemporary handle. You've got your viewfinder is there, kind of like your little peephole. And I like the height of this because I'm quite short. And it means that you can people like me can look through. And also it's good for teenagers, kids and security purposes. You've got your letterbox there. And yeah, just generally it is your standard kind of hallway. But what does this flow into? It flows into this space here at the front. And this space in the front is very impressive in terms of the proportions i really like the proportions and for properties that come in the hallway and the first room is the lounge i like the flow of this so looking at this room you've got a bay window a very modest one but i quite like it modest in size it is still a fantastic feature but it's quite a modest size you've got a floor to ceiling bay window with, and it's white on the inside, but gray on the outside. So the white bounces light off back into this space. You've got a space there for your TV console. You know, they've done a little kind of like feature of that to give you an idea. So your TV sockets go there and then your sofa can go here. And I like the way they've put kind of like a four seater sofa there and an armchair, but it's up to you. You may want to um, have an L-shaped sofa here to kind of cradle the space and zone it a bit more. But yeah, I like the size of this space. So let's keep moving. The next room is going to be this open plan space. And you're probably wondering where the WC is. Well, it's over here. So let me show you it really, really quickly. So through this door, you can see the size of the WC. I think it's a very sizable WC. You've got your toilet here by Gebrit very reputable brand, radiator, sink there as well, with a little splash back against the wall, and then a little space, an extra space here for like a um, kind of like um, getting ready, mirror, you can really make it into a feature. So maybe this kind of edges itself into a powder room status rather than just a downstairs toilet. Right, so that's that space. Oh, and before I forget, the doors throughout this property are this fantastic kind of panelled uh, white effect, um, door, white effect, white painted doors panelling effect. So that's great. And then this next door is going to take us to a downstairs store. And in terms of storage, you know, it is very spacious. And, you know, in terms of head height, it's very, very good. I would recommend that if you were to get the space, you would install a light as well, just to make sure it's very versatile. And then maybe a socket if you're planning on having appliances in that space. But I think in terms of downstairs, they've really utilized the space under the stairs. So now let's proceed to the rest of the house. And now we are in the open plan space that everyone loves to look at. You've got your dining nook there. And this is a currently staged as a six seater, easily, it can be easily upgraded to an eight seater with just two end chairs there. The table itself is quite large. It's quite wide radiator over there. 
a little focal point mirror and then the double doors for the garden there so you're going to peep through and i'm just going to talk really quickly about the garden so let's show you the back garden so step up into this area let me just close the fence as you can see you have timber fencing and then you can just see the the rear of the property and you can see the windows the french doors opening out the double doors as well and it's all grey which works really nicely with the brick as well you've got your paving slabs there and these are standard and lawn is extra but you can kind of get an idea of if you were to kind of turf the whole garden this is what it look like you have to imagine a kind of a boundary line of fence because your garden wouldn't actually extend all that way it would stop about here where your property stops and go all the way to the back it's approximately 50 square meters and I think that's quite a nice size for this property at the back you've got a mix of materials just you know they've kind of uplifted it for the show home but it's brick so it's nice and secure and sturdy and I think that pretty much kind of concludes the back garden so let's continue with the rest of the tour now that we've just seen the garden let's talk about the rest so we're in the kitchen area it's a u-shaped kitchen beautiful contemporary worktop it's very thin which is very modern and it's a square edge as well it's got a concrete effect stainless steel sink by leisure one and a half bowl fantastic chrome tap window face in the garden i love this always always look for that if you can guys so lots of natural light coming in, which makes washing the dishes less of a chore. And then you've got these beautiful high gloss gray um, contemporary cupboards with a J pole. The shape is a J, J pole handles there like this. Your boiler is a ideal logic boiler, fantastic company. And then you've got these recessed lights underneath. And these recessed lights are an extra. They're shown in the show home just to show you potential of what you can get. This glass splashback is fantastic. In your standard spec, you will have a stainless steel one. You've got your extract fan there, gas hob, which we know you can actually also upgrade to an induction hob. And the branding is Indesit as well, which is commonly used by house builders. And just the oven. I never open the oven, but why not? It's fantastic integrated appliances throughout and it flows all the way around we've got more cabinets here as you can see the storage there with shelving in there and then this of course is going to be our fridge freezer which is going to open from this side yep so fridge freezer let me just open that and that's kind of like a almost 50 50 arrangement 50 50 split 50 percent fridge 50 percent freezer and then here you've got more drawers there you go everything is on a soft closer and that's fantastic storage there oven washing machine integrated da 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 there you go guys storage storage and dishwasher great so it ticks all the boxes that you would expect in a standard new build home and then let's continue the flow back to the hallway where we first started and you can just see how the light flows into the space and how you'd bring people into your home and now let's go to the first wall the handrail is oak as you can see there and it's very kind of like i i prefer wooden handrails because they're quite warm to the touch and the stairs are carpeted so it's very quiet when you're walking up the stairs as well and now we are on the first floor landing so let's look in the first room so this room you can be forgiven for thinking this is the primary bedroom it's not it's just one of the fabulous proportioned rooms um this bedroom right now is got a double bed in it but i think it can easily be upgraded to a king because you can see the size of the bedside tables they're quite large they're almost dressers to be honest not just your kind of standard bedside tables you've got a beautiful wallpaper in the far end which creates a focal point and then you know you've got your suede headboard large kind of three paneled window facing the whole development and your back garden you can see the size of the garden you've got parking on that side and you can see in the distance um uh, the river as well which is lovely something different and then you've got all this space at the bottom of your bed which i love you know i love the way they've put that little um bench there but you could put like an ottoman there add more storage under the bed and then you've got wall to wall sliding doors with let's just give it a look so you've got storage in there all the way across they've done a rail there and then they've got kind of storage above and this is an 
optional upgrade so it's completely up to you but that's bedroom one so let's keep it moving door number two is another kind of semi storage space but really it's your services area sometimes we tend to well usually we tend to see this downstairs but with it being upstairs it's still convenient if there's ever any kind of outages any appliances trip the sockets it's right here convenient and then obviously you've got the remnants of your heating system and then with storage or shelving you can add more you can make this a more functional rooms and it's lit as well so that's great now let's go into the family bathroom family bathroom as you can see has been fully um beautifully tiled throughout i love this tiling it kind of mimics like a marble a very dark gray marble or a natural stone it's been tiled throughout and that is an upgrade um a standard specification for this toy this uh family bathroom would be behind the shower directly behind full height tiling full height tiling up to two tiles and then you have kind of half height tiling just where the bath is the bath itself is a really nice size i'm so glad we finally moved away from those tiny baths where your kind of your knees are like angled up because you can't lie into them very nice size bath you've got kind of a hinge glass divider very practical the shower itself is by briston but the white goods as well are by Geberit. So that's really lovely to see. And obviously you can see the branding on that. You've got your chrome towel rail, heated towel rail on the wall. And then a focal point there, probably hang a mirror or something behind or place a medicine cabinet over there. That's the family bathroom line. Let's keep moving. The next room guys is this one. It is a single bedroom. Um, I'm a bit cheeky. <laughs> so even though this is a single bed inside of it, I would probably squeeze in a double or a sofa bed to make a guest guest um, a guest a room that can basically, the sofa bed would be folded out into a double bed. But right now, let's stick with how they've staged it. You can see that it's a nice size kids room or an office or study. It's up to you. So single bed in that corner, wardrobe space in that corner. And I love that they've thought that through. You've got your uh, um, radiator there and then the window here. The Roman blinds kind of don't really show you how tall this window is. But it's another one of those almost floor to ceiling height ones. You can open the window, which is great for ventilation and breeze during the summer hot months. And then let's go back into the corridor. So the next space is this one. Every time I see a space like this, I always call it a Zen space. Um, basically, it's like a chill out, wind out, wind down space. It is basically using leftover space because this space takes you to the next floor, which I'll show you in a second. But you see they've put a little chair there or a plant. You could put like a little ornament here or something just so that when you're walking around the home, you have a moment to just slow down and calm and relax. You've got a window bringing lots of light and it overlooks the front of the property so you can see who's coming to the house as well. And then let's go on to the next floor. So again, carpeted treads, wooden handrail, very nice touch. And let's go to the very top of the house. And now that we're here, we can see the size of the landing. So the hallway, you're gonna notice you've obviously got this wooden balustrading and these, I like these. I know these are traditional, but these uh, balustrades, I like seeing them because normally, you know, you see kind of like just a straight one. But I like the shape of these, the profile on them is very nice. It's kind of striking, it's something different um and let's look at the first room here which is another beautifully proportioned bedroom wow guys wow um we're talking new builds so we're looking at new builds and new and house builders and i can say from my experience most of the times the rooms are not this well proportioned well proportioned in the sense that this is a king size bed. Every room so far has fit a king size bed. There are no box rooms. Apart from the obvious um, single bedroom, every room that's a double room is actually a king size bedroom. You've got bedside tables either side, plus a little bit of space, actually, a little dressing area, homework area. This room would obviously be ideal for if you had a guest or a teenage um, child, or just, you know, <laughs> you really have uh, the flexibility to do what you want with this space. If you wanted, you could even do wardrobes along that wall if you absolutely needed it. And then you've got the window facing the front of the development. You can see the cliffs in the background, which are just inherent to this area. And you can see the rest of the development. So 
kind of to kind of jump off a little bit the rest of the development's going to have a brand new school there a brand new um bus stop right opposite as well which means that it's going to be so accessible to to london because that bus takes you to gravesend uh station as well and yeah you can just probably find out more of those details in the description otherwise i'd go on too much but let's talk about the fact that this wardrobe is well kind of configured in this area i've actually just had a quick idea if it was me i would ask them to move this radiator and i would actually make the wall from here to here it's kind of like a full floor to ceiling uh kind of fitted wardrobes that would obviously cost me additional money because it's not a standard fitting but yeah it's nice to know that there is additional space or if you like you could actually close it off and make it a work um a homework area or a study area there's another door here so they're utilizing a lot of space and this is your standard well, not, I say standard, but I mean your kind of, you expect them to have your storage above the staircase. But it's not actually very standard because it's actually a really big size. And it's carpeted already, uh, ready for you to use. Uh, you can put Christmas decorations in there, linen, or it can be bonus storage space for this bedroom. So let's go back to the hallway because there's still more. Right, so let's go to the room we've been saving, which is the primary bedroom you know this is just fantastic um so as you can see in the visuals in the video i'm standing over here the, there's a king size bed in front of me i know this room can take a super king i know it i can feel it i mean the space is really big so it can fit a ki super king bed headboard there against the wall and you've got this beautiful feature they've done i love that it's very kind of a uh, Pinterest, shall we say. Um, we've got your bedside tables at either side. And I want to make a fuss about this. These aren't your standard tiny little bedside tables. These are really, really big units. And so you know that you can kind of upsize the furniture. You'll have no problem. Um, so let's go back over here really quickly. We've got a radiator below the window. The window as well is a three pane window. Both sides are opening. You overlook your garden, but from a higher vantage point, you can see further in the distance, just the activity and the scale of the development is enormous. Obviously right now it looks like a massive construction site, but in the future, that's gonna be gardens, trees, planting, houses, schools, etc. Now, on this wall, they've actually got wall-to-wall -wall wardrobes. Let me show you again kind of what's going on on the inside. So sliding doors on tracks. So this is the central part and it's carpeted inside as well. So I like that. Um, and then they've got a hanging rail there and storage shelf all the way across there. And then obviously with it being a primary bedroom, we have to have an ensuite. So let's go in there and show you. So the ensuite here, as you can see, is actually so unique. So if I bring you in, it's actually a Jack and Jill arrangement. So with a lock, so don't relax. So this door takes you back into the hallway. It can be your private ensuite. And so you send the person on the opposite room downstairs if they need a bathroom, or they can share it with you if the two people kind of can interact on this floor. I love this because that means that this size of this ensuite is actually much bigger. So this ensuite's got a large shower, which is fully tiled, fully tiled in this beautiful kind of like ribbed uh, tiling with a texture on it. Again, shower by Briston as well. And then you've got a wall there and it just seems almost like, like there's so much wall. What do you want to do with it? You've got your toilet in that corner, your sink over there, and there's still more space. Heater towel rail behind the door. Again, you can have storage units if you need to. So let's go and see the rest of the property and I'll just show you how cool this is. So meet me outside really. So now that we're here in the landing, you can see the Jack and Jill arrangement it works really well. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video so far. If you've liked this video, make sure you tell us that by clicking the like button. We really appreciate it and subscribe so you get notified when the next video pops up and you'll see a few teasers about our videos. Our favorite videos pop up any second now. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I need to do the stats. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Basically. Oh my god. That all up. Okay, let's start again. By Dev. Uh,
Dorset. Uh. Devon. Welcome to another talk. Welcome to another installment. <laughs>